David, we're sitting here looking at the final match to establish the last semifinalist in the MCW Heavyweight Tournament. We've got Curtis Hughes coming out to face Jerry the King Lawler. And we know those finals are happening tonight at Samstown and tonight kids will be allowed in. If you're under 21, you can buy a ticket and come into the finals tonight at Samstown. Bruce uh, Pritchard, our new commissioner, took the credit for all of that. I don't care what it is. I'm tickled to death, and we'll be looking forward to seeing everybody out there at Samstown in the uh, River Palace Arena this very night when the finals take place. And plus, I'll be there, too. Hey, I certainly hope so. That is tonight, and there he is, the king! Well, I'll tell you one thing, it came as no... One moment. It came as no surprise to me at all but our new commissioner is very fast on his feet when it comes to answering questions. He had answers for everything. Bell time. Did he, did he happen to say anything about getting me a pay raise? Well, we, did, we didn't get into that, but we'll bring it up next time. Somewhere, somehow. Jerry Lawler saying, check the gloves, check them. It's Curtis Hughes. We mention it every time, but you can't hardly not. He is big. King ties it up, collar and elbow with him. Scoop, slam, and Lawler pounded down off that mat. You know, Lance, we've been speculating as to why Chris Jericho sent Curtis Hughes down here to Memphis Wrestling. Maybe this is the reason. Maybe it's to win the tournament for the Memphis Wrestling Championship title. Very well, it could be. He uh, might have had the foresight to see that Waller was going to be a man that was going to be in the running, certainly, for it. And Curtis Hughes is the one that he's paired off with. Oh, man. Whipped him. Put him across that ring diagonally right into those turnbuckles. Pounded him in the back. Uh, Curtis Hughes last week had a grueling first-round matchup. He gets to the second round here against half a mask. It's an all-time classic. I mean, it yeah, was a really, yeah. Really me really, I really felt sorry for him having to put himself out the way he did. Yeah, You're right, God, David. Uh, Curtis Hughes, ooh, little test of strength. Jerry, what do you got on your mind? That's what he had on his mind. Get him off balance and rip him. And the referee, Bill Rush, warning Lawler about the use of that fist. And he pounded him right down in the middle of the ring. King's seen him big before. Of course, Curtis Hughes has seen a lot of them a lot smaller before, too. What a power driver, is that what you want to see? Well, one of these two men in the ring will be the last of the final four for the title. Those finals take place tonight at Sandstown. You can bring the family out because tonight, kids will be allowed into the arena. That's right. We previously said nobody under 21 years of age. Scratch it for tonight at Samstown. Whoa, look at that right hand from Curtis. Curtis is saying he did it. I'm doing it too. Okay. Back down from that one. Waller did plaster him with a couple. And look at that right hand from Curtis Hughes. Now he puts the foot right in Waller's face. Mm. That's a big foot. Yes, sir. And it's legal, too. Flat of the foot. That's not legal. Referee Bill Rush over there. Close to disqualify. What are you saying? What are you doing that for? Because you were choking him, Curtis. King takes that head. Boom. He's down. How you like that, huh? He is going to be particularly hard to beat with the beloved Memphis Championship Wrestling crown ultimately on the line. Baller taking another right hand from Curtis Hughes. And that, that brand new title is going to look nice sitting on Y2J's panel piece and Curtis Hughes brings it back to him. Yeah. A little premature, I think, my friend. He may do it. 
Curtis is big enough, strong enough, and tough enough that he might be able to do it, but he's going to have to first get by this guy. You can believe that. Curtis Hughes going in. See, now the referee's getting on him. What are you doing biting him? Right in the forehead. Trying to get the eye closed. Boom, right hand from Lawler, and he takes one right, right across the eyes. The King, not having one of his better moments, as Curtis, in the corner, drives that shoulder into the midsection. Ooh. Referee saying, back it up. You're in the corner and on the rope. Hughes grabs him by the head and pulls him out of the corner. That's one way to get out. And the whip. Curtis. Slam. That shoulder right into the turnbuckle and Lawler now. Snaps the strap and comes back with that left hand. Get out of the way, Curtis. Get out of the way. He did. And Lawler knew where to put it. Right on the button. Hughes is staggering. And why not? Uh-oh. Right into referee Bill Rush. And Lawler knocked down himself, but he knocked the referee down, and Curtis Hughes goes to his pocket. What in the world is he getting now? It's over for the King. I can tell you that right Chain. now. Chain. Nope. Pulls out. Looks like powder he's got. And Lawler reaches out, slaps it right up into Curtis's oh, Curtis eyes. Hughes just pulled off the glasses. The powder didn't work. It just hit the glasses. Chokes at him. Lawler, low bridges him, up in the air, pile driver. Drops him down, no referee. He goes over and gets Bill Rush and says, count, count of one, count of two. He's done it, Lawler's won it, but look out. Here comes Steven Regal and Bull Payne. These are the three finalists that will be there tonight at Samstown squaring off against each other. It's going to be Regal, Bull Payne, Jerry the King, Lawler, and the fourth man, Mask Man number one. Oh, man, I'm going to get killed, man. Come on, I'm going to get killed. Come on, you got to go. You got to go. 